Hey y'all, welcome back or welcome if you're new. In today's video, we are going to clean my bedroom. I have tons of laundry that needs to get done, like a lot, and I need to redo all of our clothes in the closet because I have new hangers those uh, blue hangers I'm going to switch them all out and then I'm going to see if I can clean up the dresser to where I can close the drawers and they don't feel like you're having to work really hard to close them so let's go ahead and get to it I know man, passing by life is good best I've ever felt Alright, so the first thing I do anytime I need to organize or declutter something is make sure the room itself is picked up. So I'm going to make up my bed, get anything out of here that does not belong in here. That way when we go to pull everything out of the dresser and then work on the closet, I have a clean slate to work with. And I love that I have a big bed because I can really like just dump everything on the bed and i know that it's going to get done before i go to sleep because <laughs> there is no other option Alright, so I've gotten everything out of this drawer and now it is time to vacuum it because it is a messy, messy. And I'm so excited because I have a new handheld vacuum from Backlife. This is the Backlife Cordless Handheld Vacuum VL766. It has multiple accessories, crevice nozzle, a dusting brush. It's got powerful brushless motor, a long battery time, a two-in-one charging dock, and a double filtration system. 
This little handheld vacuum cleaner is so convenient and so easy to use. As you can see, you can use this on many different surfaces. I like to put the brush nozzle on there when I'm vacuuming like in my bathroom, along the back and stuff because y'all, I lose hair like nobody's business. I think it's also great to use on baseboards. And then I take the brush off and I suck up all of this food off of the floor. If you've got kids and they make messes or you've got dogs and they make a ton of messes, this little handheld vacuum cleaner is going to be a lifesaver. It's so easy to just snap off, put the debris in the trash can. Side note, I need to change out my trash, but we're not going to talk about that. So here it is. So lightweight, but so so powerful this is the most powerful suction i've ever had in a little handheld vacuum cleaner and it it's so sleek i love it i also love how it has a stainless steel filter so it's going to last a long time and look at this charging station i can just tuck it away behind my chair and pull it out anytime i need to use it and it flashes when it needs to be charged and whenever it's done flashing, you know you are good to go. So I'm also going to leave a 20% off discount code in the description box with all the other information and links to VacLife's products. And y'all, this is just amazing. So now that we're done with that, we're going to get back into the laundry because it was already done. But I just wanted to thank VacLife for partnering me on this video. I've used their vacuums for probably a year now and every time they just get better and better. So I love it when a brand listens to their feedback and they just constantly adapt and make things better and better. They don't stop at just one vacuum, they keep going and every time it's just so much better. Like y'all can see the one on my dryer, that's also back life and I use it to clean out my floorboards in the car but I I could talk to you all day about vac life I'm sure you can hear the excitement in my voice because I genuinely prefer vac life when it comes to handheld vacuums and they just know what they're doing they're so good at making a good vacuum so definitely check out those links in the description box and use that 20% off code so you can get you a good deal Alright guys, I'm feeling pumped up and energized. I don't know about y'all, but this music is motivating me so much to get things done around my house. And if this is motivating you, get up and do something with me. We've got about 20 minutes left in this video, so I know that there's something you could get done. Is there a load of laundry that you could fold? Come on now. I know there probably is. I'm grinning right now because I have a load of laundry. <laughs> that needs to be folded in my living room that I'm staring at while I'm doing this voiceover. But look at all this. I am going to get it folded and with the power of editing, it is all done now. And I'm going to start putting it back in the drawer. I love to just do the roll up method. I don't know if this is technically KonMari, but I just like to roll up things that are on the smaller side. And then I do fold like pants the regular way because I feel like when I try to roll those, they kind of get really big. So anything small, I like to just roll up. So t-shirts, tank tops, shorts, leggings, underwear, stuff like that roll it up it's probably going to save you a lot of room y'all know this dresser was packed full of stuff and i only pulled out a few things and everything was able to go back in there smooth and uh, able to shut easily so we're going to do that we're going to shut it so y'all can see how it just closes so easily um let me know the method you use for folding your clothes i think it would be interesting to know how we all do things 
But if you're getting motivated from this video to do your homemaking and you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe because I'm seeing if we can get to 13,000 community, which is insane. If we can get to that, like it's hard for me to grasp numbers but i know that thirteen thousand is a big number that's like a lot of people so if we can get to thirteen thousand like i'm just this girl on the internet if we can get to thirteen thousand that would just be crazy like there's so many of you out there watching these videos and i am so entirely grateful for you to be here and i just hope that every time you click on a video you will find it motivating and inspiring to get your homemaking done coming along now we've got all of our shirts put away and now's the time to focus on the bottom drawer which has all the pants so i went ahead took those out folded everything and anytime i saw a pair of shorts i just put it to the side because what i'm going to do with the shorts is put them in one of those storage bags that you can put like sheets and blankets and pillows and stuff like that that you're not using at the moment i think that's a great way to store items if you don't have a lot of space because there's really nowhere else that i can put his shorts so i'm going to just put them in that bag and that will protect them from any sort of damage that they could get while they're in the closet just sitting around and um i can just pull them out whenever spring rolls around and it's time to wear shorts again now i will say i did leave the like just casual shorts lounge shorts out and this is me asking Aaron if I could throw away a couple of tops that were like super stained and he said yes um he likes to keep his clothes he doesn't really like to declutter much because he um would rather it be there in case he needs it instead of like getting rid of it and then having to rebuy it one day if he needed it again
Now I'm just going through and getting all of the Walmart hangers out of my closet. <laughs> <laughs> and Ruth sent me over these velvet hangers and she also sent some um, like silky kind of hangers that I think are for more delicate items and I'm so thankful for her sending those to me. She also sent us a um, small Christmas tree with an elf head topper. Y'all saw a little snippet of that in the beginning of the video. So grateful for that. So we're going to decorate it at the end of this video. There's also a grocery haul at the end of this video as well. And I give some like resourceful tips when it comes to saving money on your groceries. So I'm just taking out all of these clothing that have the plastic hanger. Getting rid of those. I do just want to say there's absolutely nothing wrong with having the plastic hangers. I'm, I have them too. But... Because she sent over these like better quality hangers, I'm just going to switch them out and then we're going to recycle the clear plastic ones from Walmart. Here's how the closet looks now. I didn't get rid of any of the clothes. I just switched out those hangers and I love how like clean it looks now. Over time, I will probably take out the metal hangers too, but a little bit goes a long way and you can do a little bit at a time and eventually it will all get done. So now we're going to get into the grocery haul. All right, so here is the grocery haul for this week. We spent $48 on this and my word for now and all of 2023 is resourceful so i have a tip for y'all also about the meat and like how we plan our meals so i'll tell you that after i get through this haul we got spaghetti for spaghetti this sauce we normally get the food lion in the glass jars but this was on sale for $3.48, so it was actually cheaper than buying two cans at $1.79 a piece. So we got this big one. Got a thing of macaroni and cheese. This is a little over a dollar. The Coca-Cola products were two or no, two seventy-nine for both. Because they were buy one, get one free. And then I grabbed these for 96 cents each. Then Aaron picked out this uh, barbecue. It's like the ribs. And he said they're they're good with barbecue sauce. So there you go. Got that. So we have this. And we have macaroni. And then I have a little bit of mashed potatoes left over. So I could make a whole meal out of that. I've got some vegetables. Frozen mixed vegetables. And some crackers. We've got a lot of leftover like little slices of cheese. So that's what the crackers were for. But we also are going to make um, chili and vegetable soup. So we can have crackers for that too. Oh, I got some fries. Oh, the crackers were $1.08 I think. And this was a dollar something. Closer to $2. This was three something. The fries were $1.99. And the hamburger buns were a dollar, I believe. And these are for hamburgers. And I got this big pack of hamburger meat. And I'm going to split it up in four. So we're going to do chili, vegetable soup, hamburgers, and spaghetti out of this. 
and of course I got Chloe's dog food and we got one of those. Um, so my tip for, especially if you're wanting to be more resourceful with your money and your food and everything. So a great tip is to shop from your pantry. One of the reasons we're having chili is because I have a chili seasonings packet. I have the diced tomatoes and I have beans. So all I needed for that was the hamburger meat. But a lot of times I do not write out a grocery list and go ahead and put the meat and then base my meals around that because I haven't seen the prices of the meat at the store. So what I like to do is I will go to the store and I went straight to the meat section to see what was on sale. And this time we just ended up getting this. So then I said, okay, what other three meals can I base off of the meat that I got? So say chicken is on sale and you can get five pounds of chicken for $10. I'm just, it's just, you know, I'm just using an example, not saying it's, you can actually do that, but I mean, that'd be a good deal. So say you can get five pounds of chicken for $10 instead of making pork chops one night and hamburgers one night and steaks another night, that's going to add up in your grocery bill so if you know you can get five pounds of chicken you can divide that up in five days and then buy the ingredients you need to go with the chicken to make it a meal i feel like the meat is the most expensive thing that you can get at the grocery store so if you can budget around your meat then it's going to be a lot more affordable so this was 48 dollars and this will last us for probably five days because I think we got four here and this is number five so and it's Monday right now which we did get pizza from Domino's so we will have enough up until Saturday I'm gonna start decorating this tree now it is so so cute I don't know where she got um, any of it from so Ruth if you're watching this video let us know in the comments where this tree is from just in case someone else is interested in it I love the little elf topper uh, and I thought it would be perfect to put over here in the corner of our bedroom by this bear and the way it like reflects off of this little mirror that I have on the wall I think it turns out so cute and it's so awesome that I had some little ornaments um, so I used those and I'm just putting on the legs right now and then we're going to plug it in and fluff it and then put all the ornaments on. So yeah, we're going to decorate it. Hopefully you enjoyed that grocery haul and you got a little helpful tips from it. Now you'll see that oh, it looks like only the top is lit up. That's my fault. Um, I, I need to take the top off twist the bottom around and then put the top back on i just really wasn't aware of it when i was filming the video but i noticed um later on that all of the lights on the bottom were on the back so i just need to twist it around so every ever all the lights work and stuff um so yeah i'm just gonna decorate this i'll show you what it looks like when it's done
despite the loss I'm over here, gotta get across Whether you like it, like it or not There is a moment meant for us And now you made it, but I already played this Not interested, open your eyes, let's get it done Take my hand, just follow me, shadow me, I won love how this tree turned out and I had so much fun in this video today with you. I hope you got a lot of motivation from it and you had a good time as well. And um, I'm just going to show you some more clips of the tree but that does it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you back here very soon for another super motivating homemaking video. Bye! Open your eyes, let's get it done Take my hand, just follow me Shadowing me, I won oh.